Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, last night I did upload a video showing you guys how you could make the most amount of money from the brand new Issy Classic races. And on Wednesday I showed you guys an even better method how to make the most amount of money from the new double money and double RP promotion on all of Lamar's missions. However, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a money maker method which is probably better than both of those methods combined. Just to give you guys some figures so you can understand how much you can earn you'd easily be able to earn over a million dollars for every hour grinding this method and the best part is it is 100 legit so you guys don't run the risk of receiving a stupid ban for no reason i always tell you guys stay away from money glitches when you can earn such good money legit there really is no point running the risk of receiving a ban now the method in today's video a lot of you guys have probably played it before but you're unaware of how to make it unlimited but you probably need some players to help you guys grind it out with because unlike my previous two money maker methods which were solo you guys will need some friends to grind up this method in today's video but when you take everything into account how easy it is and the amount of money you earn this method is much better than any solo method currently going on so we are going to be grinding out the prison break which is currently offering you guys double money and double rp i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have probably played this life before but you're unaware like i said on how to make it unlimited so you can keep on repeating it with no cool that period but also i'm going to show you guys a bunch of tips and tricks that will just make this heist a walk in the park on hard difficulty and that is worth mentioning you guys will be earning a million dollars without doing the elite challenges if you guys do want to go for those you can earn a bonus 200k which i will explain more about later on in the video but as a bare minimum you guys will be earning a very nice million dollars so as always if this video does help you guys out in any way shape or form and you would like to see me post more epic money in rp guides in the future all i ask is to drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so first things first like i said we are going to be grinding at the prison break heist which is currently offering you guys double money and double rp now if you guys aren't aware you will need to own an apartment to launch this heist i do believe the cheapest apartment is around 150k around 100k so it's definitely worth the investment right now if you guys will be making that back in no time however secondly you guys are going to need a little group of players to grind this out with now you have two options the first option what i would suggest you guys do is to leave a comment down below under this video with your gamer tag your psn or your social club name and say whether or not you can launch the heist or you're looking to be a heist member because i am aware that not all of you guys can own an apartment so you might be better off letting people know that you don't have an apartment but you're more than willing to help someone else until you can get that money now you might be better off also leaving whether or not you got a mic because i know certain players only like to grind with other players who've got mics but i guarantee as long as all of you guys watch this video all the way through you can all jump on straight away and complete this heist very very easily finally when you guys leave a comment underneath this video you might be better off leaving what region you play in so you might be better off saying i live in usa west coast or usa east coast or uk europe as it's more than likely you're going to find more players in your time zone so it's easier to put a crew of you guys together now once you guys have left a comment underneath this video you do have another option you can go ahead and join one of my gta 5 crews i will say the crews do fill up very very quickly so if the crews are full while you're watching this video check back tomorrow at 9 p.m uk time and i will be kicking 100 inactive members from each crew tomorrow so i'm just letting you guys know in today's video tomorrow 9 p.m uk time there will be space in every single gta 5 crew i own the reason i'm going to do it tomorrow rather than today is because it's going to show me who is serious about joining the crew if you are going to come back tomorrow now another quick tip i'm actually going to go ahead and give you guys is before you launch the heist is to go ahead and make your way to like a reception area if you own an office where you can reload on snacks for free or go ahead and go to the convenience store and just fill up all of your snacks and then once you've done that just go to ammunition and stock up on all the heavy body armor 
farmers. This will make more sense later on in the video, but I will just save you guys a bunch of time and literally make this heist a walk in the park and will only cost you guys a couple thousand dollars. Now, once you guys have got that, you're ready to go ahead and launch the heist. Now, there will actually be a setup fee for launching this heist. It is only going to cost you guys 40k. Don't worry, like I said, 40k is practically penny to what you guys are going to be earning back from this heist. Okay, so the first setup on the board is called Plane. And it's basically, as it says, you guys are going to go ahead and hijack a plane and deliver it back to your airfield. Very, very easy and straightforward. Players will be split up into two teams, so you will have the pilot and the ground team. And like I said, it's very self-explanatory. The three members who are on the ground team need to stay together, make their way towards the plane in the same car. It is worth mentioning, you can actually use an armored Karuma in this goddamn heist, making it a walk in the park. You can even use a vigilante which comes with goddamn rockets and machine guns. Now as you guys can see on screen, I actually arrived at the Mackenzie airfield way before my teammates did when in actual fact they was meant to arrive here before me and take out all of these players and I was simply meant to jump in the plane and take off. However, like I said to you guys, if you're an experienced player, there really is no reason for you guys to wait around and rely on other people, especially if you guys can use this little trick that I just showed you guys, pull up your interaction menu, just be hovering over snacks and every time you're getting shot, be pressing A on the Xbox or X on the PlayStation and your character will automatically eat a snack without doing the animation so it can basically replenish your life as quick as possible. So as you guys can see, a little bit passes on and my ground team finds finally arrive at the hangar to give me some backup. Once you guys have taken out a few of the enemies, you can simply just jump out your car, get straight into the plane and go ahead and deliver it. So like I said, it's probably the most easiest and straightforward part of this entire heist. Now, once you guys have done that, you're ready to move on to the second setup and this is equally just as easy as the first setup. In this setup, all we have to do is go ahead and steal a prison bus. So it's very easy and very straightforward. There's actually no teams in this setup. All you guys have to do is simply go ahead and follow the GPS to the bus. When you find it, just get out the car, shoot the driver, steal the bus, and then go ahead and lose the cops. Now, I will say the only bit of work you guys have to do in this setup is like jumping out and taking out a chopper that is actually escorting the um, prison bus. So you can simply just jump out like I do, use your homing launcher, and then blow that chopper to smithereens. And then there you go. As soon as you guys have lost the cops, all you have to do from here is go ahead and deliver the bus to the drop off. Now, I will say if you guys actually see any police cruisers driving, you do want to avoid them because if they actually spot you you will get a one star rating after you so it is going to delay the whole process of just having to lose them again very quickly however very easy like i said jack the bus go ahead and deliver it and then that is that setup done now once you guys have done that you're ready to move on to the next setup and this one is called station and it is worth mentioning this setup is slightly more difficult than the previous two and will be broken into two teams you've got one team called cop station and the other team called cargo ship now the cop station team is dressed as police officers and need to grab a police cruiser in order to steal some files from the police station now a really easy way to do this instead of driving in there straight away head first like my friend done initially and just get five stars on after you and get shot what you guys actually want to do is do what I do on screen. You want to pull up your phone, simply go ahead and call 911 and then simply go ahead and request the police. Then give it about 30 seconds or so and the police cruiser should come straight to where you guys spawn. So just like that, you don't have to do any work going around trying to jack a police cruiser. Simply go ahead, jack them off the feds, drive down this little alleyway right here, lose the cops and now you guys can continue with the mission. Now it is worth noting that all of your weapons that will be taken away during this mission as the cop you will only have the knife stick and a pistol however you really don't need anything else because once you guys have lost the cops you simply have to go to the police station park on the yellow marker and walk inside now whatever you guys do don't get your guns out and just walk normally. Don't run or sprint because if you guys sprint, then it actually lets off a bigger step base and it's going to alert the cops. Now, once you guys are inside, simply follow my route, take a right, another right, and go ahead and pick up the police schedule. Once you have it, turn around, walk back outside, get straight back in the police cruiser and drive away. If all goes well, you shouldn't get spotted and a single bullet doesn't need to be shot. Now, once you guys are back in the cruiser, you have to drive to another location and go ahead and destroy the 
police cruiser. They do give you a jerry can, so don't worry. Just light the jerry can all over it. Shoot your pistol at the jerry can, and it should be destroyed within seconds. And once you guys have destroyed the police cruiser, you're simply ready to go ahead and make your way back to the planning room and deliver the schedule. Now, whilst you guys are grabbing the documents and doing everything, the other team, the cargo ship team, all they have to do is go ahead and steal a car off a ship. So just like earlier on set up where you have to go ahead and steal the prison bus and the airplane. It's very similar to that. Just use a lot of guns, a lot of snacks, take out everyone. You then have to shoot open a container which will reveal the car. And then simply go ahead and do as explained. Deliver the car to the DZ and you guys are done. Now once you guys have done that, you're ready to move on to the final setup of this entire heist. And this one is called Wet Work. And once again, we'll split you guys into two different teams. One team is called City Hall and the other team is called Mansion. Now the City Hall team, all they have to do is go ahead and follow the marker to a ladder, make your way on top of a roof and then you both, you and your teammate on the same team, have to shoot the lawyers at the same time so one of them will drop a briefcase. Now if you guys do this wrong, it's not the end of the world because like I said there was one guy in my party chat who didn't have a mic and he could hear me but he didn't know that he had to use a sniper and if you use a suppressor you won't get the cops after you so as you guys can see i sniped my guy on the left however if you guys are really bad at sniping just do what this guy done use an smg jump down the ladders and go ahead and pick up the briefcase it really is good in these missions that you don't have to take them a certain way like the doomsday heist missions certain setups you have to do stealth whereas you guys can decide whether you want to do this one stealth or you just want to go loud and proud bang down the doors and take the briefcase and like i said if you guys own like a zentorno which is practically armored at the back or a karuma you can simply just drive straight in there grab the briefcase and disappear now once you guys have done that all you have to do is go ahead and lose the cops now meanwhile the other team the mansion team have to go to a mansion they do have to use stealth or it is preferred like i just mentioned you have to take out the guards inside and then go ahead and take out the target now if you guys actually do get alert it, the target will just start to escape and then you just have to hunt him down and shoot him which like i said isn't a hard thing at all so you guys can just turn up in an armored car and spray down everyone take your time or just continually keep on eating snacks as you're getting shot and picking up the guards one by one i guarantee you guys will be able to do this one very very easily so after you've lost the cops all you have to do is go ahead and bring the briefcase back to the planning room and you guys are ready to move on to the final part of the heist now before we actually start the final Heist, you guys will have to decide what role everyone gets i will explain what each role does in just a second but you guys can also decide what percent each person gets of the final cut and like i did mention that final cut is a very very nice fat million dollars so in my case i went ahead and took 70 percent so i earned 700k and each of my team members were able to earn a very nice 100k so let's say for example we all hosted this heist once we'll all be walking away with an insane 1.3 million dollars now like i did mention there's four roles to choose from the prisoner the prison officer the pilot and demolition now the prisoner and the officer have to leave together to go ahead and fetch the bus that we stole earlier on in the setup meanwhile the pilot has to go ahead and get a prop plane and the demolition team has to go ahead and steal a buzzard attack chopper and it is pretty good the fact that you all have individual tasks so you don't really rely on another player letting you down as long as everyone knows knows what they're doing it should be very straightforward so when the prisoner and the officer enter into the prison just drive up to the door you move inside once the gates open simply park it up get out and then make your way towards Rashovsky. now once you guys locate Rashovsky, he will then start to follow you as you make your way towards the exit of the prison now Rashovsky will only move forward once you guys have killed the noose agents in front of him so these agents won't keep on respawning don't worry there's a set limit of agents that spawn in certain spots so take your time pick them off one by one and i'm pretty sure you guys will do this easily now i will say the prisoner does have a lack of guns compared to the um, officer so simply go ahead and pick up smgs off the dead security guards keep this in the back of your mind it will make a major difference to the damage that you guys can inflict now eventually the prisoner and the officer will arrive at the prison gate with rosowski you need to get into the armored car and then simply make your way to the airfield. Now, meanwhile, the pilot, which is probably the easiest role out of this entire thing, just has to be consistently driving around 
behind the jet avoiding its fire it's very very easy to do this so maybe if you've got someone in your crew who's the lowest rank or is the least experienced definitely go ahead and give him the pilot role now as far as the demolition team what you guys can see on screen you simply have to do what i do on screen go ahead and jack a prison boss off a prison officer very easy to do simply get out pick him off jump inside of it once you guys have jacked the boss take it to the airfield you have to destroy the boss then from here make your way to go ahead and pick up the buzzard there will be two enemies protecting the buzzard so simply go ahead and take them out first now once you guys are in the buzzard your job from here is to practically defend the pilot from the jet but like i mentioned earlier this jet will just keep on respawning every time you take it out so just to avoid a load of confusion just tell the pilot like i said earlier on just to avoid the fire from the jet just keep on driving around in circles now the demolition squad whoever's in the buzzard has two options you can slightly make your way towards the prison and kind of help out your teammates by shooting the police however rockstar games have updated this heist since they first got released you can no longer drive directly over the prison or you will get a message telling you guys to leave the area so once your teammates the officer and the prison officer have made their way towards the airfield your job as a demolition squad is to practically just defend these guys with your life so probably the most experienced heli driver should be doing this role because it's a lot of just tapping a or x moving left and right and taking out the helis and those close quarter calls so just simply go ahead and protect your teammates as they all jump into the plane and make a getaway now all you guys have to do in the chopper is follow these guys right behind them take out a few helis and then simply drive towards the beach now once you guys arrive at the beach all of your teammates will have to parachute out onto the beach you have to go ahead pick them up and then drive towards the city and then bang that is the heist complete one million dollars split four ways for a very very easy heist which i'm not gonna lie boys i haven't played in quite a while so it's quite enjoyable playing something in gta 5 online that i haven't done in a while that like i said just felt different to the stuff that i usually do in gta 5 online i really do wish that rockstar games brought out more of these heists and not just two dlcs because every time they did the community really did love them so like i said you guys will probably be like me and it won't even feel like your grind of money for the first few runs definitely jump on your grind stack some money while rockstar games are offering a ton of money from this heist and like i said you guys have got nothing to lose while it's double money and double rp on this heist because you're going to be earning a ton of money no matter what you do and like i did mention yesterday i did upload a video showing you guys how you could make the most amount of money from the new issy classic races and then before that i did upload a video showing you guys how you could make the most amount of money from lamar's missions which are all to offer you guys double money and double rp so i will leave a link to both of those videos down below in the description don't forget to leave a comment down below find some players to grind this out with and like i said check back tomorrow when i will be kicking some inactive players from my crew so all of you guys can join straight away nonetheless that's gonna do it for me guys as always do be sure to drop a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video Peace.